They're today outside the U.S. consulate in Chengdu after the Chinese government ordered it closed. In Houston, workers packed up the Chinese consulate. It was ordered closed earlier this week as both countries traded accusations of espionage. The sites, the latest flashpoints in the escalating tensions between the U.S. and China. China blames the U.S. for the deterioration, saying their order to close the U.S. consulate was a legitimate and necessary response to provocation. The old paradigm of blind engagement with China simply won't get it done. In recent months, the U.S. has ramped up its rhetoric against China from the Secretary of State yesterday. Securing our freedoms from the Chinese Communist Party is the mission of our time. To House Republicans using the pandemic to unravel the relationship between the two countries. China's deception has directly led to America's deaths. China is no friend to the United States. Patriotic messaging. Experts say vilifying China plays into the president's nationalist re-election strategy. What we've already seen is a fairly unprecedented in terms of uh, the diplomatic relationship between the U.S. and China. He expects more U.S. aggression towards China in the coming months for China to respond but not escalate. They're reluctant to take drastic action because of the impending U.S. presidential election, a desire not to rally the U.S. political establishment behind Trump, and also just a reluctance to be seen as, as interfering or influencing the U.S. election. He says neither side is looking for actual conflict, but when economic and military superpowers go head to head, there's always a danger that a miscalculation or accident could be disastrous. Stephen D'Souza, CBC News, New York.